What's going on everybody? It's Patrick. Um, I've got a gun here. It's kind of disassembled, but I did it on purpose. This is a TISA made in Turkey 1911. It's their Zig M1911. You see it's stamped right there. Now, this is on loan to me. Uh, the guy wants me to do some shooting with it. And run it through its paces, so I told him I would. He's put about, I don't know, I think he said 10 or 15 rounds through it. So he didn't want to shoot up much at that time. Me and you, I'd shoot the heck out of it. And I plan on it. So, let's take a look at the gun apart first and see what we get in this gun. Um, I can tell you it's all still construction. Um, the only plastic or anything, fiberglass or, or not fiberglass, but uh, urethane or anything like that is the grip. Now, if it was mine, if I was keeping this, if I was, this was my gun, I'd have to put some black with the white skull punishers on it. I think that would look good on this all black gun. But that's me. This is not mine. Uh, from what I understand, you have to watch when um, changing grips out on this particular gun because they use a different style um, uh, screws inside and you have to replace them and put the I guess American style in it and which is no big deal they just unscrew it right out and you put your other ones in but uh, I understand these screws won't interchange with other grips so there you go um, that's just what I've heard I haven't tried it myself so I don't know it does have the standard short guide rod. Uh, it does have the barrel bushing like any other 1911. There's your uh, guide spring uh, hold in. Uh, there's your typical um, latch for the, the bolt release or the, the slide release for your 1911. It is a coal forged barrel. 5 inch barrel, right hand twist, 6 land grooves and grooves. I don't know if you can see down the barrel or not, but she's pretty clean. Like I said, it's only been shot uh, about 10 times. He had no malfunctions whatsoever when he was shooting it. Shooting it. No, run the slide across there. I actually pulled up their website. Uh, if you type in TISA, they'll, it'll direct you to a, an American version of the site. And they go through all their, how they manufacture their guns. And I must say, they do a lot of um, checks and, you know, every time they machine or do something, they're checking the parts. Uh, they got a bunch of, uh, you know, a lot of quality control, I guess you could say. And I'm showing you that slide. I'll show you the inside real good so you can see that. See that real good. Um... A lot of CNC machining and that kind of stuff. I'm going to stop real quick, put this gun back together. I'm not going to do it on camera because I may suck at it because I'm this first, well, only second 1911 I've ever taken apart. So, I'll be right back. Okay, she's back together. That wasn't too bad. I didn't throw anything or pinch anything or any of the other good stuff. So, let's look at it as a whole. Now it has the standard GI um, hammer and trigger. Now this thing is unloaded. I'll show you real quick. She's unloaded. Nothing in there. Magazine's laying right there. Um, does have the grip safety. Has somewhat of a um, guard there to keep you from getting uh, trigger bite. We'll see how well it works when we go here this weekend. I guess sometime and try to lay some rounds down range and I will video that and I will have an updated video on how it shoots after it's over with but anyway they call this their black chrome um, I don't know how it's going to hold up or nothing we'll find out I'm sure he'll find out um, magazine comes with one magazine it's a Mac car magazine Mac card Mac guard magazine Lord uh, it's eight round capacity 
comes with it from the factory. Now, um, like I said, everything about the gun is standard GI style 1911. You can replace the rear sight. Front sight, you cannot. It does have last round hold open like it should. Does have your thumb safety. Now, looks of the gun and everything so far, the only thing I see about it that kind of bothers me is the way the thumb safety looks. It's kind of, I, don't know, I guess, a better word, kind of chintzy, but it serves its purpose. But the trigger back, guess what? She's not firing. So I thought, well, let's see if I got everything right. So you shouldn't be able to pull the trigger and shouldn't be able to fire it unless that grip safety's engaged and it holds true. The um, other thing I will give them credit on is you can still fire it without the magazine. So anyway, my first impressions of looking at the gun, kind of pleased. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. Now you got to remember this is a under $400 gun. You can get it all day long for under $400. If anybody's carrying it for $400 or more, well, don't buy it from them. Um, I was trying to figure out earlier my conversion on their website to English because <laughs> I do everything in metric over there. Um, but they're saying the trigger pull is 3,000 grams. So I calculated close to like four pound trigger. And it seems to hold true. Um, it feels like a four pound trigger. It is single action only. So once the trigger's down, if the round didn't go off, you'll pull the trigger or the hammer back, fire it again. Um, outside of that, my general impressions of the gun, I've heard people sh talk about shaking 1911s. If you hear it rattle real bad, you know, it's, it's a piece of crap. Well, this one, I mean, I hear a little rock, but I mean, the the to me the it's a little more when you got the hammer back. But to me, the fit and finish on the gun is excellent. I mean, I'm really impressed with a $400 gun that has this good of a finish on it, and fit and finish at that. So. We'll have to go see how she shoots. They claim that they put, uh, when they're doing testing on their guns, they put them through the gamma of hot, cold, um, supposedly, allegedly, supposedly. There's around three, I think it's 5,000 round tests when they test their guns. And that's not the gun they sell to you. They'll pull a gun out that they're going to put through their test and they do their test on it. And then they box it up, ship it out. So, We'll see, guys. We're going to take it out and shoot. Like I said, it's on loan. It's not mine. Um, I, d I am looking for a 1911. Would this be a candidate? We'll see. Um, the, good th the one thing about this, if you wanted to start with this package for under $400, you could do all kinds of crap to it as far as changing the trigger, changing the, the beaver tail and the, or the grip safety, changing the hammer. You can change the rear sight. You can't do nothing with the front sight. You can change the grips. You can do all those modifications and you're still not over a $600 gun. So, anyway, that's just my look at it. I understand you can go buy a $700 gun and have a pretty sweet looking pistol, which I agree with. Uh, it's going to look a lot sweeter than this. They do make stainless version of this gun, and I think they do a two-tone where it's black and stainless. So, anyway, that's it for now. Be prepared, and there will be a second video on this gun.